This is Billy Ruth Hopkins Futurici on KCIW 100.7 on your FM dial, right here in beautiful downtown Brookings, where almost every day is a beautiful day and we can always choose to say yes. Life is indeed very, very good. Well, you may remember that this is a work of pure, unadulterated allegorical fiction, or what J.R.R. Tolkien liked to call feigned history. So, sit back, relax, suspend all disbelief, and let's continue with our tale. Angela is 17 years old when she and Ethurges embark on their second journey to Ethereus, landing on the top of Mount Regeneration and riding down Regeneration River on a huge tropical leaf. They meet the forest fairies and Angelita, who tells how she arrived on the planet of Ethereus. Come here, Angela. Necesitamos regresar a Ethereus. Shh, shh, shh. Yeah, just keep, keep your voice down. We don't want Mom to catch wind of our plans. Come on, get off my electric piano there and let's go. What on earth are you up to, Ethurgis? Vete ya, estoy escribiendo, ¿no ves? Well, yes, I can see that you're writing. What are you writing? El documento más importante del mundo, del universo. Y el papel musical de Angelita y Shavano. Meow. Oh, no kidding. Well, we have some very important things to do, too. ¿Olvidaste? We gotta get back to Ethereus. Pronto. Yeah, pues también. Es el documento importante de la destrucción séptima. What? You mean you're doing a musical documentary of the seventh destruction? Would that be the final destruction of Earth? Hmm, todavía no sabemos, Angelita. I'm not Angelita, I'm Angela. Yeah, what's the difference? Now, Scat, can't you see I'm trying to concentrate? But, but, we need, we need to get back there pronto so we can find Zergo. I'm sure he knows where they're hiding Angelita hostage. We've got to rescue her and get her back to Shavano. A third just get off that piano, didn't I tell you it's urgent? Si, sí, si, sí, pero solamente después que terminar esto. Now, just go get some sleep. We can go back tomorrow night. A third just okay, okay. Well, I am kind of tired, so buenas noches, a third just. Well, don't work all night on that thing. Oh. Let's do a lap dissolve as Angela's dream merges with the Thurgis's musical scroll. Colorful ribbons and stars interweave through the blackness of outer space. The Thurgis continues improvising, occasionally licking the tip of a feather tip quill and marking up his musical score. We see his, her, paw move as he, she writes in lovely old-fashioned flourishes. Wanda and her brother Elijah Lightwing chant as the long scroll unfurls through outer space. In and out of overlapping red ribbons that twist, twirl, wind, and weave her story. Meow, meow, despierta, Angelita, despierta, it's time to get going. We've got to get back to Ethereus now. Oh, uh, oh my God. Uh, 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 hello, sir, just I'm, I'm Angela, not Angelita. What's the difference? Ooh, there they go, that girl just won't listen. They're falling into the crystalline caves again. This time, those little crystal people. 
loading them up on mining carts. Oh no, they're twisting and swirling and toppling through outer space. Now they're falling out of the wormhole on their way to the planet of Aetherius. Oh, mother, I can't watch. They're tumbling through all those sparkling red threads of gravity of love, spewing out of the top of the highest peak. Oh, that's an unfrageration. Oh, my orb, a beautiful creation. Well, Pop, don't be such a worry ward. Regeneration River is one of your finest creations. It will usher them gently right down to that clear lost oasis pool where the forest fairies will come and get them. The only thing I worry about here is Wisteria. She's going to be really worried this time. Oh, now who's being a worry ward now, Mother? I've got Wisteria and Zephra consoling Zerko. Angela was downright bullying him last week. No wonder he didn't want to go up to the mountain with them this time. When they get back, she better make peace and apologize. Well, now, maybe that's a good idea. They could actually work on that history paper together. It's due on Monday. Oh, Mother, you do have some good ideas. Well, what was that? I I heard a voice reminding me about my history paper that's due on Monday. Hmm. Hmm, maybe Circle and I should work on that together. That might kind of be like a peace treaty between us. Well, estás escuchando voces otra vez, Angela? Listening to voices again, huh? See, sí, see, sí, you were being a bit of a bully with him last week, as I recall. Well, yeah, but Zerko can be a real pain sometimes. But, yeah, I guess I really need to apologize and make peace, but... Never mind that, Athurgis. What's happening now? What, what, what? We're being loaded up by these little crystal people. Who are they? Are we in a fantasy or a dream? You do see all those crystal people, don't you? And those twirling red threads, and we're headed toward... Oh my gosh, where are we headed? We've been here before, haven't we? Yeah, Angela, is that a rhetorical question? You don't listen, girl. I already told you, we were here when you were 14, except we didn't get this far last time. I think we're making progress. Well, it's either that or, or this isn't really happening or, or else it's a really bad idea. Mm, it's a little late to change your mind now, Angela. We've already been here once, but Shinpai and I, don't worry, we'll be home before the weekend's over so you can finish that history paper. Oh, let's hope so. And I, I've got to get Zergo to help me finish that paper so I can apologize to him while we're working on it. Yeah, that's a good idea. Y yo necesito terminar mi obra musical. But hang on, look at all those intertwining red threads spewing from the volcano. I think that's Mount Regeneration. Hang on, Angelo. Oh, oh. Oh, heavenly stars. Oh, either I hang on or, or I let go, but sometimes it's just hard to know which is which. Well, don't you remember, Angela? You let go of the fear by hanging on to the love. Quick, grab that big red vine. Oh, that that's one of those agaitos, isn't it? The red threads of love. That's what I said. Hang on to the love. Here, precisamente, Angela. That big red vine is made of pure love. Hang on. Here we go. We're careening toward Ethereus now. Oh, headed straight for Mount Regeneration. Well, why do we have to keep coming back here? How can you keep forgetting? You are Angelita's namesake. And we have to reunite Anhalita with Shabono to save Earth from final destruction in the solar tsunami. Oh, that's what your musical is all about, isn't it, Ethurgis? Meow, por supuesto. Okay, but now how? How are we going to do this? Well, how indeed, Ethurgis, and, 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 well, shouldn't Zerko be with us? I just wish he hadn't chickened out again. Well, this is your dream, Angela. You decide what happens next. 
You mean, this isn't really happening? How me here, or quien sabe, who knows, pero vamonos. Oh, my poor, oh, my poor, b- 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 stars. Oh, that's, that's going to take us right into the volcano if, if I keep hanging on to this red thread. No, sheen pie nai, don't worry, Angela, not to worry, just hang on, we're going to swing around. Me see? We can simply swing wide and skirt the volcano. Oh, whoa. I feel like I'm on one of those, one of those carnival rides. Seguro que si, seguro que si. I thought you might like this. Yeah. There's the great waterfall down there. The Regeneration River. Here we go. Let's go down the waterfall. Swoosh. Ooh. Oh, my stars. Give me your tail. It surges now. We're headed straight for, <laughs> straight for, <laughs> on down to that big leaf. There's a big wide leaf we can drop onto and we'll ride it down the river. Oh my gosh. Oh my stars, there's sparkling shards of cut crystals down there. Yeah, see, sí, precisamente. Those are the forest fairies. Really? those handheld PCRTD orbs, don't you? Oh, you mean the the handheld crystalline orbs that were issued to everyone when the masters of autocracy banned all written language? Exactly. They were an early form of quasi-crystalline technology that took a few centuries to perfect, as I recall. Right. I remember Grandma Gaga telling us about her brother, Elijah, he developed that musical composition application using quasi-crystalline technology when he was at UCSC, right? Exactamente, mir. Yes, Angelito, that's what I'm talking about now. That's what we're using right now. A third just, I'm Angela, not Angelita. Oh, what's the difference? We're almost there. Ikimashu, let's go. The forest fairies are waiting for us. Oh, nothing to worry about, my dear. Just listen. Take a few deep breaths. No, look, there's Lord Etherius and Subasaw flying right there toward you. Etherius, that flying unicorn is coming right our way. He looks like my Spanish teacher, Señor Roel. Claro que si. Didn't Senor Roel die in that car crash? Maybe he went through a black hole and merged with Lord Etherius, the flying unicorn. Ha <laughs> At least he kept his head. <laughs> Etherius, that's not very funny. Mom really misses Senor Roel. Well, maybe that was all just a bad dream, too. But look, my old nemesis, feudal Japan lord... Tsubasa, the samurai warrior, on his back. Por supuesto, of course, who else could it be? Well, I wonder why he's only got one wing. I'll have to find out. Pero mire, the forest fairies are coming to greet us, too. Oh, 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 Angela and the fairies, and Helita has been waiting for you. Come, come, you must come and warm yourself by the campfire. We are, we are shattered, shattered shards, shards and, and pieces, pieces of orb, orb that, that floated to, to, to the, the surface, surface of a furious centuries ago. Some, Some of us landed in the hot sands and were captured by the lizard Venusians. Did you rescue the others? Yes, finally, with the help of Lord Etherius and Subasa. Oh, thank Orb. Oh, we better get started back. Wait. How do we get back to Crestone, anyway? With my PCRTD orb, of course. I have the very last one in existence. I hope it still work. Yeah, me too, Angelita. You see, Angela, this is what I've been writing about in my quasi-crystalline musical scroll, how Angelita of old landed on the sandy side of the planet and was nearly captured by the evil lizard Venusians. Let's go listen to her story. Oh, oh, mother, let me paint a picture for you. 
Angelita could not fly, since she had only her right wing, which made her flop rather awkwardly from side to side, seeming to lose all sense of balance. Oh, mother, pull up that footage there, that old footage. Yes, yes, that, that's it, that's it. Thank you, Mother Thunder. Here we go. Hmm. See, see there, watch how Angelita spins through a sparkling spiral galaxy at warp speed until finally a single central planet comes into view. But she is about to crash land on the very side of the planet where few survive. The sand dunes of desolation and fear, where scalding hot winds whirl, whip, and have been known to rip apart the toughest of lizard Venusian scales, should they be so foolish as to venture to the planet's surface. Angelita lands with a thud, kerplunk, in the hot sands, which gets into her eyes and nose and mouth, and she sneezes a bit. Dazed, she shakes her head, then regains some perspective on her surroundings, which don't seem too pleasant. Oh, in the distance there are millions of interwoven red threads of gravity and love, swirling up and out from the top of the huge volcanic mountain, which, as you know by now, is Mount Regeneration. Angelita gasps in awe as she looks at the legendary Akaitos, the red threads of gravity and love that originate from the planet of Aetherius and are dispersed throughout the universe to all who believe in them, of course. Oh, I kept wondering how many centuries I must be here. I know Angela and the Thurges are destined to come and rescue me, but when? I remember when I first approached the planet of Aetherius across a vast, shimmering luminescent scene of outer space. So long ago, gliding low, I was carrying my PCRTD orb. Oh, oh, and on the horizon, I could see a large setting sun, bright red, a smaller sun further east, golden, and then a medium sun, dark blue, there in the middle. Ah! But just then, a large, green, spiky-tailed lizard flashes his long, sticky tongue at me, and just as I'm about to be eaten whole, a beautiful flying unicorn with colored spots and the head of a warrior man swoops down. I am caught up by another mythical being with one wing, and I am now riding on his back. No intento nada de nada, but at least I am safe and we fly away to the opposite side of the planet. Oh, it's lush island in the shape of a beautiful heart comes into view and we land. Oh, I am riding with Tsubasa. Tsubasan, he, it turns out, is a Japanese samurai warrior killed many, many centuries ago. Tsubasa showed me lovely room, and later we go have dinner on the deck overlooking the sea of love. I discover then I am on the loving side of the planet of Aetherius on heart island. Oh my gosh, Angelita, my stars. Ah, so I guess it was Lord Aetherius and Subasa who rescued you. Is that right, Angelita? Por seguro. Angela, afortunadamente me salvaron. Mochiron, mochiron, of course. One look at Angelita, I fall flat in love. Oh, I know, Tsubasa, I'm doing perfectly, but I 
Oh, my light to you, but my heart belong to Shabano. Meow, well, don't worry, Aunt Kalita. Back in the day, on, in Japan, in feudal Japan, Tsubasa was always falling in love with everybody. Here and there, he'll survive. Well, good morning, go. You know, understand. I hear on the terrace now, much enlightened. The more love is love. Mochiron, meow, of course, Mochiron. I'm sure you have evolved since I killed you, Tubasa, centuries ago. Uh, all right, you two, back off. Let's, let's don't start another war here. Uh, let's get to the task at hand. We have to get Angelita back to Shivano. And we still don't know how we're going to do it. Wee, wee, wee. We can start by getting some clean water from the lost oasis. Oh, good idea, Lord Atherius, good idea. Uh, and I'm hungry too. But plus, gee, after all this excitement, I need to find the powder room so I can freshen up a bit. <laughs> powder room, powder room, <laughs> powder room. Of course, right this way, Angela. <laughs> powder room, powder room. A thirtious? This... This has to be a dream, right? Meow, quien sabe, who knows? Remember what Mrs. Dalloway always says. What is real? What is a dream? Who is real? Who is not? Who really knows? Well, but Mrs. Dalloway always was kind of spacey, so yeah, there's that. Meow, tal vez muy filosófico, she also said. Cuando empieces a dudar todo, vas a perder todo que es verdad. Say that again, Athurgis. In English? Is that what you were saying? When you start to question everything, you will lose what is really true? Sí, sí, verdad, verdad. Cuando empieces a dudar todo, vas a perder todo que es verdad. Sounds like an non sequitur, but I guess I kind of understand that. Por supuesto, Angela. It's true. So let's just keep listening and stop questioning everything. Right. So when I return from the powder room, I need to find out how we're going to get back to Crestone. Remember, I got that history paper to finish before Monday. <laughs> Pay attention, Angela. Tsubasa and I will take you to the edge of the Simeon Galaxy, where you will find the correct wormhole to get back in a flesh. Oh, thank you, Lord Etherius. Thank you. Thank you, Tsubasa. Thank you. Mochiron. Mochiron. Of course, Angela. Shinpai nai. Si, si, and once I get back to my soulmate, Chabano, then the entire universe will be healed at last. Peace will prevail over entire universe. Really, Angelita? Really, Angela? And this is why you must rescue me now. Once I am reunited with Chabano, true love will drain, and there will be no more prejudice or hatred or war. Oh my gosh, you mean no more killing or even, or maybe even bullying someone just because they have a limp or a stutter? Maybe this is more important than my history paper. Maybe this is your history paper. Oh no, Mother. Oh, look behind that grove of redwoods. Uh-oh. A gang of lizard Venusians with gas masks and flamethrowers are waiting to pounce. Well, wait, they, they, they must have been listening to everything that was going on. Run, everyone, run, run. Meow, Angela, wake up, wake up, Angela. You must have hit your head on that ice when we landed. Hey, are you okay? Oh, God. Whoa, wait, what? What? Ice? The third is where are we? How? Wait, how did we get to Sand Lake? All of a sudden, this water is icy cold. I see, see, and I hate water, especially icy water. Well, Angela, are you okay? I think so. Here, 
Here, let me pick you up. I can carry you across this ice. The third just let's jump over to that other big patch of ice. Here we go. Shh. Now, let's skate to the bank. We got to get home. But wait. Where's Angelito? We got to get back. We didn't bring her with us. Wait, what happened? But now I don't know what to do next. Hi. Uh, Angelita, I think she was taken hostage. Now we got to get back. Yes, Meow, I think that's what happened. Subasa and I went after her. But then, Zirko decided to help us find her. Now he's got a target on his back, too. Zirko? But what are... Zirko? What do you mean? Zirko wasn't even with us. Not your Zirko, Angela. Lizard Zirko. Lizard Venusian Zirko. He told Subasa and me that he knew where they were keeping Angelita. And, and so... We better get back there quick. Right, I know. But Angela, Angela, honey, wake up, doll. Hey, Angela, I think you've been dreaming again. Uh, yeah, yeah. What's going on, honey? You're ice cold and you're a little wet, too. Hey, I better get you out of these wet clothes and get you some hot tea. And and, and then you better get home and finish that paper. Zirka's been asking about it. I, I think he needs your help, too. Grandma Kaka, oh, my gosh. Ooh, I was having this weird dream that Zirkel was in real danger, and we were inside this awful video game in some sand labyrinth, and, and Annalita was taken hostage by the lizard Venusians, and Zirkel was one of them, and the forest fairies showed me where their bathroom was, and that, and that, oh, honey, now, now, honey. Dreams can be real strange that way, can't they? Well, maybe you should just use the bathroom here before you go home. Oh, you got that right, Grandma Gaga. That was a weird dream. Oh. I gotta go make peace with Zirko. I hope he forgives me. I I need to start making peace with Zirko. He keep on show. Well, you got that right, Angela. Peace is an inside job, and you gotta start with you. Start inside. So go on, get home, and start making peace. Oh, Mother, give me the remote control. I need to get a close-up on Angela here. She's finally realizing... That peace begins with her, and fixing that relationship with Zirko is the key. She needs to be the change and model kindness to stop all that bullying and prejudice. Yes, Pop, I think that's true. Building bridges of understanding, compassion, and love is the only way to ensure the survival of a harmonious universe. Oh, Mother, I hope we don't have to start all over again with oatmeal raisin, chocolate chips, and coconut cookies. <laughs> oh, you can just forget that dumb idea, Pop. Wow, wow, listeners, well. Ah, let's hope they start building those bridges of peace and love. So let's be sure to tune in for the next episodes and remember the power of love will always overcome the love of power. This is Billy Ruth Hopkins Futurichi with KCIW 100.7 on your FM dial right here in beautiful downtown Brookings where every day is an awesome day and we can always choose to say yes. Life is indeed very, very good. Remember to catch us on podcast at kciw.org forward slash Angelita's Wings. That's A-N-G-E-L-I-T-A-S dash wings. Until next time.